Have you ever been listening to something on your headphones and you're trying to do something with your hands, sewing, washing dishes, jogging, and you have to go put your phone in your pocket only to realize you don't have a pocket? So then you try to wedge it in your bra or your waistband. No? Never? Me neither. <clears throat> well, this here armband is going to solve all of your problems. And better yet, it's super easy to make. You'll need two rectangles of spandex. Yes, spandex, also known as lycra. Someone will ask, do I have to use spandex? And I will say, yes, didn't you listen to what I just said? So we have our two spandex rectangles. The size of the rectangles is really going to correspond to the size of your arm and the size of your phone. The first thing you need to do is measure your bicep, midway between the crook of your elbow and your armpit. For the sake of having an example, my upper arm measures 12 inches. Subtract two inches from your arm measurement. In my case, I end up with 10 inches. The smaller rectangle, which is the back of the armband, is going to be half that width, plus seam allowances. So that makes it six inches wide. For the length, it's twice the length of the phone, plus seam allowances. So for my phone, which is 4.75 inches tall, that gives me 10 and a half inches. On to the bigger rectangle, which is the front of the armband. It's almost the same measurements as the smaller rectangle, except that we want to add two inches to the length for overlap. So six inches wide, just like the back piece, and 12 and a half inches for the length. Take the smaller rectangle, fold it in half, hamburger style, with the right sides together. Line up the raw edges and pin. Now we'll sew with a half inch seam allowance. Use a zigzag stitch if you're using a standard sewing machine, or if you have a serger, you can use that instead. I like to sew a line of straight stitches before I do a zigzag sometimes because it can be hard to know where that half inch seam line is. Trim the seam allowances and set aside. Moving over to the big rectangle, fold the raw edges over half an inch, pin and hem. Do this with both ends. Now that we have both rectangles prepped, we sally forth. Turn the back piece right sides out and center the seam. And you can pin the sides to hold it all in place. Take the front piece, fold up the bottom so that it matches with the height of the back piece. When you're satisfied, fold the top down so it overlaps. Pin in place. If you find all of this a little hard to get together during the next step, you can baste these, but I'm being lazy. Lay the two pieces right sides together, and in this case, the right side of the front is the side with the overlap, and the right side of the back is the side without the seam. Pin the two pieces together, and then sew using a half inch seam allowance. You can trim up the seam allowances now, but we're pretty much done. Turn it right side out, and wonder at your cleverness. The phone goes in, and the top folds down, and you're ready to go hands-free. Sometimes I'll just slide it onto my forearm like this, and it stays perfectly in place, usually if I'm wearing long sleeves. But other times, when I really want it out of the way, I slide it all the way up, and that top flap flips right out of the way so you can plug in your headphones and whatnot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and for more tips, tricks, and kick-ass sewing patterns, visit whatthecraft.com.